welcome to Cindy's RV Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making um, chili, Cindy's way. It's so simple, <laughs> the way I like it. And it's a crock pot dish. Um, so I've started with rounding up about two pounds of uh, bison, bison meat, and we're gonna put that in the crock pot. I always use these, chick these um, crock pot liners because they save so much on cleanup. Um, they are so helpful to me, and I know um, a lot of my friends use them too. That's how I found out about them. I couldn't believe I didn't know. So um, if you've never tried them before, it's really, really worth it. So, okay, so we've got the meat in here. And let me put the skillet back over here. And then I'm going to be adding in about one medium chopped up onion, and I use red onion, that's my favorite for chili. So I'll put that in there. And then we're gonna put in some pinto beans. I don't drain anything, I put it all in. Unless you're using black beans, you always wanna uh, drain and rinse those. So we enjoy using Goya. We like their products. So that's what I'm using today. And I like to use red kidney beans as well. It makes for a pretty full crock pot when it's all said and done. But it's always so tasty too. I like to get all of it out of the can then I possibly <laughs> can get out. Oh yeah, great leftovers for RVing. When you travel, you just take things out of the freezer, thaw it out, and when you get to your spot, your next air spot you're gonna be camping, you just heat it up and, oh, sorry, Rotel tomatoes I like to use in there. And let's get this out. And then of course, your seasonings, whatever you like to use. I'm gonna put a little um, minced garlic in here. Not a lot, just a little bit to give it that little bit of extra flavor. And I'm, I like to use a little bit of onion powder, not a whole lot because I've already got onion in it. Oh yes, and I like to use the diced green uh, Ortega chilies. Adds a nice flavor. So we'll just get that in there. And then a little bit of garlic powder and salt and pepper is pretty much all I use. I like to use sea salt. I use that for all my cooking. And this is the garlic I'm gonna put in. It's already chopped up, so I'll just put in like a heaping teaspoon of that. And some ground pepper. And a lot of times I'll add like a little bit of salsa in here. I think I will put that in this time too. Just gives it a little bit of extra spice to it, but I don't use a whole lot. You don't want it too spicy. So maybe like half a cup maybe. And we're gonna turn this on low and let it cook until dinner time. And it should be fantastic. And that's it, we're good. Okay, so to thicken up the chili just a little bit because it was a little bit soupy, I just took about a half a cup of the beef broth 
about two tablespoons of cornstarch, mix it all together where it was very dissolved, put it in there, stirred it up, and I tell you, it was the most perfect chili we've ever had. Uh, the best batch we've ever made. So um, give it a try if you have if your chili is just a little bit too thin and it works perfect. Well, let's try some of this chili. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Pretty good? So good. Yay. Thanks, honey. <laughs>